in the studio. It's the start of what can only be described as a smash hit, Gangs of London. It's Chope Dirisu and Joe Cole. Joe, Chope, thank you very much for joining me. Thank how you how are you feeling today? Are you looking forward yeah, to good. Good. It's warm out. It's, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to be stuck in amongst the curtains <laughs> in a basement in Television <laughs> Centre, right? Um, now, uh, Gangs of London. Mm. I mean, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very exciting program. Quite violent at times. Did you ex did you expect it to be the runaway success that it's become? I don't know. I, I don't know if you ever allow yourself to believe that something's going to be super successful or a smash hit. But I think I remember the first time I saw like a little clip of the work that we'd done as like a teaser and I was immediately proud of it. So I'm just glad that I can be proud of something that everybody else has enjoyed as well. Oh, yeah. And I mean, during lockdown, it's been people have just loved watching it. Mm. Loved yeah, watching it came it. out at a good time, I think. Yeah. And it was. Um, you know, when we were shooting it, it was like we were doing, it was like kids in a playground. It yeah. was, some of the set pieces were just uh, like nothing I've ever seen before or been on set before, really ambitious stuff. So it was, it was great that it actually sort of translated to, uh, to TV and it came out at a time when everyone got to watch it. Everyone, yes. Yeah, well, I feel like they would have done it. It's very good, Joe. Don't do yourself down. <laughs> Joe, you. you're no stranger to um, criminal families, <laughs> not in your private life, uh, but oh, I don't know, I've just met you. <laughs> but um, in, uh, in that, you are, of course, in Peaky Blinders. And do you enjoy playing criminals? Is there uh, sort of electricity about it? I just, get, it? I just get what I'm given, dude. Yeah, <laughs> so yes. I'm not, I, I, you know, I, I mean, I think playing these sort of multifaceted characters with kind of uh, you know shades of light and dark is, is very interesting um, but essentially you know you, in this industry you you get what's put in front of you to a certain extent and make make the best of it so uh, yeah so yeah um, it not was, it's not scenes. been planned but huh? yeah a lot of fight scenes done a fair bit of fighting in my time yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, don't yeah. seem very violent as a person I mean is it all no, it's, it's acting it's that's <laughs> acting I suppose is that, that is acting that is literally your acting that is literally what I'm doing mm -hmm. Shope Shop you have to do a lot of the you know quite choreographed fight scenes as well sure, yeah. I mean how does that I mean physically it must be quite demanding to be able to do all of that I don't know like like Joe said, it was like kids in the playground. Oh, I've really? always uh, done a lot of contact sports growing up. I did a bit of karate and judo when I was younger. So to be able to like mix like the creative drama side with the physicality of like playing sports all my life was actually a blessing in disguise. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I would always assume that like being an actor was the antidote to PE. <laughs> yeah. But it yeah. turns out actually you've mm. actually got to be really quite yeah. good at, you know, Doing it's just about physicality and like yeah. tele creating characters and telling stories using your body as well as your voice and words. Yes, I always get so hunchy whenever I've tried to be an actor. I don't know why, <laughs> I just get so nervous. Um, the, um, it's, I mean, it's been an extraordinary time, I think, during lockdown, uh, but it feels like it's all the more important to celebrate television, right? Mm -hmm. would, would you say? I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful... Form. I mean, it's been a saving grace, really, hasn't it? Um, in this time when everyone's stuck indoors or with their families, which it can be a good thing sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> but um, it's been wonderful to be able to invest in these stories that go on for eight to 10 to 23 hours a season. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for the renaissance of television, definitely. Yeah, it feels like a time to, um, yeah, when we can really indulge and enjoy getting mm. to know people and learning about worlds, I suppose. So. Yeah, it's been, I mean, TV sort of, been on the up in terms of like the quality that's been put out over the last sort of 10, 10 12 years. And I think certainly um, now more than ever, we're going to have to see more and more of that because that's how people are consuming. So uh, yeah, long may it continue, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's a golden age in many ways and I hope it continues to get better. Thank you.